Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 28 for hotel management system in Laravel. And in this video, we will send the dynamic price to our Stripe payment API. Okay. In our previous video, we have implemented the Stripe payment gateway, but uh, we have we have sent the static price. Like we have sent the 2000 static price to our payment API. But now in this, we will uh, fetch the uh, specific room price and then we will send the uh, send the payment to the API and we will uh, then we will continue that that we are we were doing okay so how we will how we will fetch the price and how we will send the price so we will implement this via jQuery so we have already uh, we have already we are already saving the price when we are adding the room type then we are already saving the price let me show you so when we will go to the database and let me show you the admin also so let's go to the admin okay okay so when we will go to the when we will go to the add new you can say so here you can see that when we are adding the room type then we are also adding the price okay now we need to set this price should be dynamic so how we will do that so the process should be when we will when we will check when we will set the date for the checkout and uh, ch check in and check out then it is showing the uh, it is showing the room okay and we have we are fetching the data via ajax and we are fetching both kind of data we are fetching the room table data and room type table data okay now we will uh, fetch the data of the price we will and send the data to the controller okay and currently we have commented this uh, validation but uh, in this video we will uh, uncomment this validation and we will save this data okay so let's uh, start to work this so first of all i will uncomment this code <coughs> okay and if uh, reference is from front it means uh, if we are set, uh, if we are booking the room from the front then this will uh, implement the stripe payment gateway okay so i will just copy this actually cut this and paste it here okay and let me show you yes okay and uh, if the price uh, if the reference is not from the front then it will redirect to the admin whatever we have defined the redirection path okay so <clears throat> now when we will refresh this page and click on this submit then this will show the validation okay it means the validation is working properly now we need the price field also so what we will do here we will add the price field here so let's add the price field so this is our uh, hidden field and uh, this is room price and the value will be we will set the value via jquery okay because when we will uh, change the room or when we default we will uh, select the first room when we will uh, set this date so when this will show the room room list then by default it will set the selected room price and if we change this then it will show it will set the uh, selected room price okay here okay so let me add here class room price okay and one thing more we will add here data price and we will add the data price for here okay price okay now let's check this so if we will open our console and uh, uh, let's select 24 let's select 26 okay and here it is showing the room list and let's let's see so here it is here it is showing data price okay now we will now when we will change this then it should change then should put the value of this price into our hidden field and when we will submit this then we will get the hidden field value here and we will set here okay i hope you are understanding that what we are going to do 
or what we are doing okay so so this name is so actually the list this is the name uh, room list okay so we will implement the event document dot document dot change document dot on change document dot on change for which select a room list and we will then run the function okay and in this function selected selected price equal to dollar this dot find option selected okay and this option selected from this option selected we will get data attribute data price okay let's console this from that sorry <coughs> console log selected price refresh this page and we will go to console and here we will select this select this and we will change this so here you can see that this is showing 100 uh, sorry 10,000 this is showing 5,000 this is showing another thing. okay <coughs> one thing more we will add here the fee tag and we will say show room price okay and in this we will show the price actually we should add the class in the span not in the p tag so here okay and in this we will show the price so here it will dot text because if we are using the span then we should use text okay and we need also to add the value in the hidden field so the name is room price so this will be dot value okay and here we will put this now let's check this okay so let's see this 24 26 here you can see that this is changing the price okay here one task that uh, I uh, I will assign you that this price should show if we have this list okay so this task is for you that how you can hide this price until we select this room select the specific room from this list okay so like it should not show the this price text okay only this price should show after appending this room list in this uh, select option okay so this is the task for you so when you be done then please comment in the comment section okay so now we have uh, let me uh, let's see in the hidden field that the price is coming so uh, this is our input so here you can see that okay now one thing here we need to understand if we are changing the room list then it, it is showing the price so what should happen when if if i not change the room uh, from the list it should show the price of the first uh, room or selected room so what i will do here i will simply copy this okay and after appending this html i will say this thing and i will say this room list here okay so when data will append in this uh, list then it will show the selected price and add in the hidden field okay let me show you so <clears throat> let's say 24 26 so here you can see that this is showing 5000 because the room price of this room one deluxe rooms is 5000 okay now this is 10,000 this is thing okay so hidden field is also changing now we will send this data so before sending this data into the unit amount i will add a required field okay so that without the price user cannot add the 
कैनॉट इंप्लीमेंट द चेकआउट सेक्शन रूम प्राइस रिक्वायर्ड एंड दिस विल बी हियर सो दिस इज एंड द नेम इज रूम प्राइस इन टू हंड्रेड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस इन टू हंड्रेड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो ओके सो रिफ्रेश द पेज एंड लेट्स चेक दिस so i will say 24 uh 26 okay and let's change this this thing total adults 2 children 1 and submit this currently it is uh, saving the data but uh, uh we will save the data in our success uh, method okay we will save the data in only in our success method but currently we are saving this data but we will later we, later we will change this so here you can see that this is uh, redirecting on the strike payment gateway and the price is 10000 okay so with this way we are sending the dynamic data and i hope you understand all the things in this video i just want to show you that how we can set the price with the help of jquery ajax okay and uh, with the help of our uh, our system okay that we have created okay so i have all uh, i am uploading all the code on github so you can download the source code okay and uh, yeah please like this video and uh, if you have any query then please comment in this video and subscribe this channel okay so thanks for watching this video thank you so much